Hey, what's up? This your boy, Big Man. You already know what it is, man. So let's get right to it. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about Mimo 600. Now, Mimo 600, his name has probably been attached to one of the biggest stories coming out of this weekend, right? There's been a lot going on in hip hop. And the story of Mimo 600's chain being snatched has been told by many other sources. But today I feel like we have a fuller picture of my, what might have happened. Now, you got to realize that most of this is all rumor. Most of this is secondhand information passed along from one person to the next. And a lot of it sounds like it's made up, man. I mean, it's it involves a setup. It involves probably one of the biggest artists in the world right now setting somebody up. You know, it's a lot going on. But one thing is for sure, that somebody went online and a guy by the name of THF Zoo, right? Or he's also known as THF Bay Zoo. Now, dude is a rapper, and he was also on that Loyal Bros CD that Nemo was on. It was an OTF project. They all seem to be repping OTF. But dude went to social media to show off a Steve Drive chain that he said he took from Mimo. He said, come get your chain back and all that. And also said some things about Mimo not being from 600 and dissing him or whatnot. Now, there's been a lot of talking back and forth about this situation online, and Mimo hasn't said much in retaliation. Until yesterday, he made a post and where he wanted to put it out there that a lot of this is cap. Now, I don't know if it's cap or if it is, but it's a crazy story to say the least. Now, before we get to the specifics of the story as we know it so far, do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And man, let's get it. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about Mimo 600 allegedly getting his chain snatched, man. Now, for some of you who are casual rap fans, you won't understand the significance of a rapper getting his chain snatched. I mean, that is like the ultimate sign of disrespect for a rapper because it's letting it be known that if you're a gangster rapper, you ain't about all that stuff you talk about because I got your chain right now. It's sitting with me. And people tend to, you know, pass these stories around hip hop, especially in certain, you know, places in hip hop, I should say, or certain fan bases, right? And nothing worse for a gangster rapper than for somebody to snatch their chain. Now, Mimo 600 has never confirmed that his chain got snatched, right? But THF Zoo, or Bay Zoo as he's been called before, is uh, he's going on social media and basically saying that he got Mimo 600's chain. And the story about how he acquired the chain is mixed, you know? There was an interview, or I should say a clip, that went viral on social media, and it's from 16 Shot Visuals, and he does hip-hop commentary in Chicago. He covers a lot of documentary-type film stuff. He does a lot of interviews. A lot of them go viral. He's doing big things right now, right? Well, he recently was talking to somebody, and it looked like it was from an interview format, and he said this about the whole Mimo 600 chain situation. <laughs> they tell me, Dirt called Mimo, tell him pull up and tell him let's box. I'm tired of all this internet to be doing. You make a look bad, you know, you represent me, you OTF, you you can't be doing all this less box. I'm for say he was scared of something, he didn't want to do it. One thing led to the next, got the move crazy, and guns got to get him pulled out. They say took the people that was with me more guns and, and beat them, knocked their teeth out. Then, and basically, like Mimo got away some type of way. Now, let's unpack that whole story that 16 shot visual said right there. He's basically implying. And you could tell he's telling it from secondhand knowledge as well. Like he said, he heard. So he, this is, none of this is official and none of this is confirmed, right? But that Lil Dirk, one of the hottest artists, if not the hottest artist in the country right now, called up Mimo 600 and told him to meet him in the hood so they could get this fade out the way because he's been embarrassing OTF. And that's wild to think about, man, because Lil Dirk at this point probably ain't got no time to be, you know, shooting a fair one with nobody. For you know, to get into any type of fair ones or fades or anything like that, right? But that's the story that's going around. He also said that in the process of things, that Mimo was scared to pull up, but pulled up with some people. They ended up getting roughed up, and that is where the chain got acquired. Now, I don't know how THF Bay Zoo was the one who acquired the chain. I mean, you could imply that he was one of the people there with dirt, but man, it seems like regardless, Mimo came out of the situation unscathed. Now, there was also somebody named Land on Shark 600. Now, he's been talking a lot over the past two years about a lot of things involving 600 or whatnot, and he's not shy at going at Mimo. And he put out this video on social media right here. Mimo, use a bitch out here, boy. Get out the studio, bro. Get out the studio, Mimo. Go get 
fucking chain back, boy. Come on, man. You got six, seven phony chains around your neck, man. That's what Dirk was talking about, man. Take that out, man. Man, don't do that, man. Don't. So as you can see in that video clip, he was also confirming what he heard about Mimo's chain being stolen. Now, the rumor also goes a little deeper than that. It said that Lil Dirk was upset about Mimos, you know, acting up on social media, you know, just doing a little too much on social media. And I'll say this, Mimo is on social media a lot. Like his interactions with WAC 100 on Clubhouse, I don't think that was a good look. And I hopefully he could, he could see that as, you know, probably a mistake, you know what I'm saying? And not to say that you can't go back from any of that stuff because it is just social media and talking, but... There's a thing about being a, a gangster rapper or a drill rapper or whatever that's got to carry a little bit of mystery and mystique for the fans. You know what I'm saying? You can't give them your every thought and everything. It just makes you seem so regular to them, man. And I, I'm not in the industry like that, so I'm not just giving, trying to give out advice to people who are way, way more advanced in this thing, you know, really doing music out here. Because let's be real, Mimo has some, some classic songs out there. And, you know, he was on that Loyal Bros CD with Lil Durk. And that CD seems to be cursed for some reason. Or I said CD, but album. That album seems to be cursed, man. So many people who are on that Loyal Bros OTF project that came out last year have had run-ins with the law, have been in rumors where they got their chain snatched, all sorts of stuff. A lot of them have been arrested, man. So it's interesting to see how this thing is playing out. Now, with Mimo, though, he felt the need to go to social media and respond because of all the backlash. A lot of people were saying a lot of things. So here's two separate video clips that allegedly were taken after, you know, THF Bezu had put out his video saying he took Mimo's chain. And you look goofy as hell in the trenches doing that all though. And whoever approve of you goofy as hell, my dear brother. Well, y'all ain't touch, touch me. In front of me, none of that on the floor. Who you is now in that video, Mimo is basically trying to clear his name, saying ain't nobody took nothing from him. And whoever's in the hood who's talking all that crazy stuff, you know, they're flawed, like they they in the wrong right now, and nobody should be trying to approve that. Now, Mimo wasn't done there, he also put a post on social media, and I should say his Twitter page, that he's since taken down. And in that post, he said this right here He says, I keep checking for my chain, thinking I got my took for real with the laughing emoji and the z's emoji you know what i mean and puff and smoke emoji too man so he's taking this post down so far and it seems like he was putting this post out there to let people know that he never got his chain took and he's sticking to that story even though a lot of the rumors out there especially you know coming out of chicago beg to differ they say something totally different they're saying that mimo got his chain snatched he's sticking to his word on this and he's even taking this post down, which is which is weird, man, which is odd, man, because I saw the post come up and I didn't think he would take it down, went back to look and it was taken down. But, you know, the social media is forever. So we'll eventually, you know, find out what happened. You know, like it'll it'll eventually come to light what went down. And I don't know. I don't know who to believe in, in this situation. Dirk obviously isn't going to speak on it because the story of him even being involved is so crazy because of the level that he's on in the rap game right now. But the fact that Mimo has been out here making some waves on social media and they might not feel that, I mean, it's, that's not too hard to believe. But what do you guys think? Do you think that Mimo 600 got his chain snatched and he's just trying to backtrack and cover it up? Or do you feel like, man, this could be all rumor and, you know, you never know where Bezu got that chain from that he was flaunting around. Now, with that, this has been your boy, Big Man. Do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And make sure you hit that notification bell so that way you get a notification every time I drop this out of content. And we out of here. Peace.